Greetings, brothers and sisters, and subscribers alike. And if you're not a subscriber, just feel free to hit that subscribe button, and um, I think there may be a little bell on there if you want to get other messages as well. Now, this I'm doing from the office today, and it's kind of uh, off the cuff, so to speak. I've just had an encounter with someone that I want to talk about. And the encounter was in a group on Facebook called A Million Baptist, which I post things in there from time to time. And I do that for the reason of edification and uh, learning. You know, we discuss various topics of doctrine and such. Well, just recently, uh, I was answering a question in there. And uh, I'll just read to you some of the things that happen. Now, this video is really about a interaction between myself and Stephen L. Anderson, who is a pastor in Tempe, Arizona. He's all over YouTube, and he makes lots of bombastic comments about people and other denominations. Uh, Anyway, here's some of the exchange that I'll just read to you, uh, just to start with. And uh, it started out that said, uh, one party, party A said, Primitive Baptists are just Calvinist rebranded. Okay, well, I don't agree with that, but we, we will go on. All right. And then uh, Stephen L. Anderson says, Calvinists are way worse. Oh, wow. okay. And I uh, responded to him and I said, are they not your brothers and sisters? And his response was, no, they are not. And he also uh, commented and said, uh, and this is his comment, you are a greater evil being a hardcore Calvinist you are accursed of God with your lying, false gospel. All right, so here's the situation. <clears throat> I used to be uh, a Roman Catholic. That's how I was raised, all right? And in about 1973, uh, I converted, and I became a non-denominational, uh, evangelical, Arminian, uh, dispensational uh, type Christian, all right? This is during the time of, you know, the, uh, the Jesus movement and a lot of things back in the 70s. Well, over the years, uh, I've been exposed to many different things, and I've changed, and I've actually become a primitive Baptist. Now, I've gone to Presbyterian churches, I've gone to vineyard churches, I've gone to uh, other types of churches. Now, I may not agree with some of the doctrinal issues with some of those people, but in no way, shape, or form am I going to not consider them being my brothers and sisters, because even as it says in 1 John 5, 1, if you believe that Jesus is the Christ, you are born of God. Now, uh, I don't know what the deal is with Pastor Stephen L. Anderson is. I know that uh, he rants and raves about a lot of different things, and I'm not going to go into that. But what I will say is, I don't think it's right for someone who is a pastor to start talking about other denominations and talking about them being accursed of God because of their specific beliefs. Now, just as a side note, if you go back to Oh, like um, 18, no, even before that, uh, back in the 1700s, late 1700s, 
About 93% of all the Baptist churches were Calvinist in America. Now, that's just the way it is. I don't understand exactly where this guy's coming from or what his trip is, but I think it's wrong to uh, condemn and curse other denominations saying that they're not saints just because of the fact that you can't handle their uh, doctrinal stance, be it not being Armenian or semi-Pelagian or whatever the case may be. I think this guy's off the wall and I'm just putting it out there uh, because I had a personal exchange with him, not just something that's uh, that didn't have anything to do with me. And if somebody's going to uh, say that I'm cursed of God because of a false gospel, which is actually biblical, not that I'm a Calvinist, but uh, the sovereignty of God, election, predestination, particular redemption, all of that's in the Bible, whether you like it or not. And uh, so that's my two cents on the matter. And many blessings to all of you, and even Stephen L. Anderson. Brother, if you are a brother, which I would consider you that, uh, in spite of the ridiculous things that you say, uh, you need to stop uh, putting down other people, denominations, and, uh, and making these statements because you're just driving wedges between people that are actually of the same faith. All right, that's my rant. Bye-bye and many blessings to you.